quick tutorial how to prepare your miner for the immersion. It's a simple process, but you know it takes some steps, and you need to do it do it carefully uh, to not you know damage anything. So we will we actually have pretty new miner. I mean, all the miners which you will get they were used for some time, but that's one it's it's clean. So we'll just you know simulate the process of cleaning the hashboard. But first we need to pre prepare the miner for the immersion, removing the fans and removing the, attaching the uh, fan emulators. So um, what we need actually for that whole process is we need the screwdriver, we need some kind of gloves, uh, we need the brush for the cleaning, uh, we need the fan emulators, which we provide for them for the, for the S19, uh, and we need the alcohol. <laughs> we have plenty of those. As you may know, we are based in Poland, Europe, so uh, there's plenty of alcohol around. So uh, that's the problem for the customers in the Middle East, which can hardly, ha can hardly get the isopropyl alcohol. And uh, in some countries, there's only isopropyl alcohol uh, with the 70%. We suggest 90%, uh, but well, let's, let's use what you have uh, on site. So let's take the miner to our works and I'll just, you know, protect that pretty nice table. There you go, that's S19 J Pro. And uh, let's take the screwdriver and just, you know, loosen a bit all those, you know, uh, all those screws here. Actually, on that moment, I don't need the gloves. I need the gloves when I will go inside. We'll remove also that panel here and we'll remove the fans from the, uh, from the uh, PSU. So just loosen additional screws here. There you go. I'll try to my best to do that as quickly as possible. For the future, if you'd like to resell your units, the whole thing about the immersion is that it fully protects your components from the dust, uh, from the overheating, overburning, from the pests, from everything which you'll you know, find in your miners in the typical uh, air-cooled system. That's all on that side. Now I will just, you know, Remove that part. So now the cover of the control uh, board, and now we just you know remove those you know fans here. I have the space for the fans, and now let me just you know to make sure that I will not leave any oils on the electronic components. I'll just use my my gloves. Just be careful, but on the other other side, you know, no point now to do it to bother with it. Too much so just remove all those components that's to be used somewhere else or we'll just use it when you would like to resell that miner we'll clean it later and just convert it to the air cooling for you know new prospective buyer after some years of you know really pushing pushing that miner to the to the maximum now here we will just add apply the fan emulators uh, which we provide these are uh, universal fan emulators, which we which we deliver, these emulate the different ranges of the of the fans in the different miners. They work awesome with almost every miner configuration, which is using typical four-pin connector. And the MCU controller here is just you know just just great. Uh, it actually learns the uh, the uh, the miner for some for some time and then emulates the signal which uh, fans uh, need. So well, let's just break it. Um, let's be gentle here and just break it a little bit. There you go. There you go. Uh, it has, you know, uh, marking here. So the ground and control. So it's not a big deal here. It doesn't require any, you know, special consideration. Just install that in that manner. Just a moment here. There you go. And the last one. There you go. So, we managed to cover all those uh, fan uh, connectors. That, that's what you need to operate your miner with the immersion. And that, as I said, that works for every, every miner which is using four pin connection. Uh, we rarely hear about some some issues which usually are temporary sometimes it's just you know changing the port or just you know moving that port a little bit and then you'll be 
fine. Now we need to remove the some other fans. So I just you know push the fans from the and take care about the fans from the PSU. But we will remove also those those main fans here. Now remove the cover of the of the uh, PSU, and those PSUs are pretty well built. Uh, if you can just observe here, they may be you may have questions about how to remove those. So just look at look at here, and sometimes those cables are you know attached to it pretty pretty well, as you can see here. So then just just don't bother, just you know re remove that one. So if the cables are sticking, that one just you know remove that, and uh, you should remove the fans. You don't need uh, the fan emulators for the PSU fans, so just you know remove that from the from the connector point. Just be gentle because these are delicate, and again you can just you know wiggle it out somehow and just remove it. And the last last one, we have three fans. This doesn't require any emulation. Uh, we have the opening here just to cool the uh, that part uh, in the um, in the plate which is uh, located at the bottom of the enclosure. So some flow goes here, but you know mostly we care about that component, about that uh, side here. We need to provide enough flow here and saturate the all the hashboards. Now let's remove those fans finally, and that will be end of the preparation process with the miner which is not used but with the miner is, is used we will need to you know do the proper cleaning and for that we'll be using different you know materials and different uh, uh, ways to do that first you will be using compressed air obviously so if you have a really really dirty mi miner then we'll suggest using the uh, compressed air just remove all the dust you, you can get and there will be lots of, you know, clinic in that case. But here we are lucky we have just, you know, almost fresh miners. I will just leave it on the side. I think we just managed to remove all the fans. We use the fan emulators here. So that's all we can, you know, normally, as I said, if there will be lots of dust, we would start from the, you know, brushing everything using compressed air. So just, you know, compressed air and cleaning that at every detail, every component you may find, then just clean it very carefully. And then after that, you'll be able to flush that with the isopropyl alcohol. So basically, you know, running the, the alcohol through it. And again, just, just, just cleaning everything. But the most important part will be just to use compressed air. That's pretty important to just uh, remove all the dirt you, you will find here. But as, as I said, that's for the miner, which is really, really uh, dirty. And, you know, the cleaning process is pretty self-explanatory. So just, you know, remove all the dirt, all the dust you can find inside of the miner. Since, again, I have pretty good looking miners, then I will not, don't spend the time to, you know, on that one. So I'll just, you know, attach first screws to be, uh, to have the, you know, everything attached to hold all the components in place. Let's remove one of the hard boards and let's uh, discuss uh, quickly the clinic procedure for the hard boards because that requires, you know, uh, clinic of those hard boards carefully. So I will just, you know, provide a quick guide on that one. So first we are removing the uh, the uh, bus bars. We need to also obviously remove that part. Actually, for the sake of the immersion, you can leave that one, all those screws and all that, you know, element which is protecting your miners. It's just fine to leave it here. Uh, it doesn't, you know, really constrain the flow. So for us, it's fine. And also we use those screws as I you know, element of positioning. So in our boards, which we provide uh, for the enclosure, that allows us to you know, place that miner correctly and find a good spot. So you can just you know leave it like uh, like it is. But for the clinic of the hashboard, we need to remove that one. Just be careful. 
that's kind of you know delicate uh, component here. Now I didn't have my coffee yet. Just bear me. Now I need to just unplug the hash board from the uh, from the control panel and there you go. I can remove the hash board again, use the gloves to protect your miners and please make sure you are not keeping holding with the any condensator or any you know fragile elements. So just you know remove that one as delicate as possible. And now we can you know perform more detailed cleaning procedure on that hash board. That one is pretty clean. So I have no problem with that one. Uh, I would have the I would have compressed air again just to uh, just to make sure that that I have that you know fully cleaned. If there will be no uh, that's my coffee. Uh, if there will be no uh, significant you know contamination, there will be no dust. I will just you know use small portion of the of the compressed air and you know clean that additionally. But Let's imagine that we use that uh, that compressed air. We check everything is uh, well, still a little bit dirty, and not fully, you know, not fully clean. And let's imagine we need to, you know, uh, clean it in more detail. There's a simple solution for that. It's not complicated. You just need to take, you know, simple container which you'll buy on the any, you know, store, and you just need to put your unit inside just like that again watch if you to, to not damage any you know fragile part and then there will be will be clean that one we're not fully immersing or just you know dipping into the uh, uh, isopropyl alcohol uh, we just you know using that for for flushing purpose right we're just using it for the cleaning purpose and what you need is the you know fresh brush uh, and you can you know different kinds of sh shapes but just make sure it's the you know soft enough to just take any uh, any dirt away so i have pretty big container here normally it will be so much smaller but let me let me just take some of that you don't need that much of the of the alcohol just a small portion because then you'll be able to uh, uh, clean that one which gets dirty in a, in a moment. So what you're gonna do is you just take the some of that alcohol and you just use that for the sake for the purpose of you know cleaning. So go deeply into all the all the brushes here and you know all the elements here. The alcohol doesn't you know will will not ruin your miner. So just take your time clean that in the you know all that miner before the immersion the less dirt you'll put into the fluid the less work then later the fluid doesn't take so much i mean the electric fluid which which we which we use is fully synthetic it doesn't take so much dirt it rather isolate that dirt so you'll find some you know contamination at the bottom of the tank and then you will be able to use the uh, this you know small kind of aquarium uh, components or you know accessories to remove that you know that the dirt which lies on the bottom but it will you will not require so much uh, so much more of that so the same process for the other side and then you do that well you can t take your mask uh, just you know try to not inhale too much all that alcohol especially when you're driving later and you do exactly the same process I will take so much more time to do that if i were you especially if i'll be running you know significantly dirty uh, miner there will be lots of you know contamination you can you know use that 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 alcohol and then you can you know uh, filter it through even coffee filter so you can just use coffee filter to just remove that excess dirt one Important thing, after you have finished with all that, so you remove all the portion of the, you know, dirt contamination and all that, everything which, which you found inside, you should re repeat that process again. So basically, we'll be uh, changing, the, uh, the, changing the alcohol, making sure that you, you know, removed all that, uh, all that dirt, 
and just repeat that procedure. As if you have, you know, dirty unit, if you ru were running that on the air, air, then please take your time, do that again. Just make sure that the alcohol which goes from your miner is, you know, almost clean. If you have still dirty alcohol inside, then, well, you need more time, right? You need to repeat the process. Very, very important thing in regards to the, uh, to the alcohol. Well, it evaporates, obviously, but it doesn't evaporate so quickly as you think. So there's a small portion of that, well, that probably will evaporate uh, pretty quick, but if there will be some uh, small areas inside of that unit, inside here in, the, in those heat sink, then it may take more time to, uh, for that uh, alcohol to be evacuated from that miner. So just take additional container and just let it drip that first. Secondly, again, use the uh, compressed air and remove that excess, uh, excess alcohol from all those you know, small elements. Please take your time. The biggest issue you will get, or you can you know, have some issues with your hardware, have some issues with the fluids inside of the uh, enclosure. If you will just, you know, drip the all those hash boards inside of the miner and put that immediately to the uh, to the electric fluid, it doesn't end so well. Uh, it will not ruin your fluid completely, but it will certainly change the uh, the, the formulas to, to some extent. So just take your time, let it dry for one day, and uh, earlier than that. Please use compressed air, remove all these small residues uh, and uh, then wait for it to, you know, to be completely, to, to be completely uh, clean from the residue of the, of, the, of the alcohol. That's pretty important, right? Take your time, just don't rush and make sure you are removing all that you know, residue. Let it completely you know, evaporate, right? That's pretty, pretty important. So the next portion would be then I will just basically wait secure that properly and wait until the, all the contents of that you know, alcohol will be evaporated. Again, if the alcohol becomes cloudy, dirty, and it is a little bit, even though that miner was you know, pretty clean, then just you can just use coffee filter and just filter it a few times and then you can reuse that alcohol. No point, just you know, waste it. Good alcohol, right? So. So that's the uh, few simple steps in terms of the preparation of your miner. Uh, remove the fans. The first step, remove the fans. Uh, second step, uh, remove the fans from the, from the PSU. Uh, third step, add the fan controllers to, uh, to make sure you don't have to you know, use custom firmware. The, uh, the fourth step would be to clean correctly your miner, uh, depending on whether you, you have the new miner or you have the miner which was uh, used for some time in the uh, air environment and then uh, wait the fifth step i suppose it's to wait uh, long enough until the you cannot see any you no know, content any residue of the alcohol that's pretty important to not contaminate your your um, your enclosure simple as that the process is the same for every miner type just take her remove all the components in the delicate manner and you'll be good for the... So this is how you prepare your miner for the immersion. And uh, if you have, have any question about, you know, any uh, moment in terms of the preparation for the immersion, then uh, just, you know, visit the criticallink.eu website. At the bottom of that website, there's a link for a support uh, channel. There's a WhatsApp communication. Uh, there's a Telegram direct support and we support directly uh, customers. There is also a DCX immersion uh, group on Telegram, which you can which you can visit. So, just you know, there's lots of helpful guys, which will also help you. So we try to be you know available uh, all the time, also during the you know different time zones. So everybody is starting at the Friday evening, our time usually. We used to it. So ask any question they may be. Just maybe one final uh, item. When you start the preparation of the of the miners, well, I would wait until you get your enclosure until you set up on your enclosure, let it you know, work if you, have, if you have used air cooled miners and then you know, perform everything when that system works you know, flawlessly and is commissioned. So that will be it. And uh, guys, stay, stay with us, observe other, other manuals and we'll show you how the immersion system works. Cheers.